This short presentation accompanies the document and the terms of reference for data management staff in this section of the support pack. The purpose of this video is to show you the typical data management tasks in a project the size of CCAS and help you decide whether or not you need a data manager for your project. Data management is acknowledged as necessary, but not always budgeted for explicitly within a project. Frequently, data management is done by each researcher in a project, independently from other researchers in the same project. This approach makes it difficult to apply the same principles and standards throughout. We encourage you to think of the resources you need for data management in terms of time, money and skills. For time and budget, consider the equipment you are likely to need. This might be equipment for data entry. You might consider handheld devices, for example. Think about backups. Consider cloud storage or network drives. Make sure these are budgeted for. Ensure team members have the time to do the tasks well. Don't forget to factor in time for dealing with data queries and time for training. The principal investigator needs to decide whether or not to, to appoint a data manager. Whatever the decision, the data management tasks must be explicitly assigned. Someone must have the responsibility to see that they are done. Time and resources needed for data management depend on the specific project size and complexity. The data manager supports and contributes to the team's efforts to gather, clean, store and publish the research data and accompanying documentation. He or she has the responsibility for implementing any agreements established by the research team with respect to data. For example, they might set up data and document storage facilities for the researchers to share their data. They might help in the creation of data entry systems, including documenting the system and helping to train data entry staff. They might provide input to the, to the design of data collection tools. When you consider the layout of a questionnaire from a data management point of view, for instance, this can make it easier to design the data entry system, which in turn facilitates the computerization of the data and leads to fewer errors. The data manager would ensure the metadata is produced, would help with data quality checks and would be responsible for archiving. As an example of the typical tasks a data manager might be expected to do, we have listed just some of the data management tasks carried out by the Statistical Services Centre for the CCAS baseline surveys. Formatting the questionnaires for the household baseline survey for ease of completion and data entry. Allocating variable names throughout the questionnaire. Providing support in working with CS Pro and creating demonstration videos. Revising the data entry system in line with changes in the questionnaire. Writing a data entry manual to be used in training and for reference. Writing data checking guides. Detailing how to produce frequency tables in CS Pro. How to transfer the data to SPSS and how to do further checks in SPSS. Helping to draft the analysis plan for the site reports. Producing the SPSS syntax for the analysis plan. Documenting the procedures for running the analysis and extracting the results. Running quality checks on the data. This included things like making sure the land values were feasible and there was not more land used for growing crops or for grazing than the farmer actually owned. Merging the data sets from the 15 core sites. This included consolidating the crop and livestock codes. There was a core set of codes, but each site added extra codes specific to their region. These needed combining into the merged data set. Creating the Dataverse for archiving the baseline studies. This was a pilot run of using Dataverse and so far has been successful. Uploading the data and documentation to Dataverse. Over time, the structure of the Dataverse has changed to be more logical and further files have been uploaded as they have become available. Setting up a data entry worksheet for the data from the mitigation questionnaires from the village baseline. This included entering and checking the data, checking site reports, rerunning some of the analysis where corrections have been made to the data. In one site, for, for example, the conversion factor for converting from local land units to hectares had been recorded incorrectly so farmers appeared to have much more land than was actually the case. Creating training videos on how to complete parts of the questionnaire and how to use the data entry system. These included videos explaining how to record the data that the land values 
Some sites had manually converted the data to hectares prior to data entry, leading to problems when the analysis syntax did a further conversion. Producing an assessment report on the quality of the household baseline data. You really sure you don't need a data manager? The debate about whether or not to appoint a data manager or leave researchers to do their own data management will no doubt continue. Some researchers have the capacity, time and inclination to do data management, but in our experience they are the exception. In most cases, support from a data manager who has explicit responsibility to deal with data issues is essential to achieving good quality data. In the support pack, we have included terms of reference for both a data manager and a data technician or assistant.